Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to be talking to you about money making through crafting in Kenshi. So there's a few ways to make money through crafting in Kenshi, but there's only one that is very reliable for doing it early game. So I wouldn't consider this to be extremely early game, but it's still early game enough. I haven't made a base yet and I've basically just got uh, my 15 characters ready for adventuring out into the world. I don't have any of the best in slot gear yet or anything like that, yada yada yada. I'm still just, all I own is two little buildings in Squin and one isn't even uh, fully refurbished yet. It's still dilapidated. So, I'm still pretty close to early game, but I'm not entirely early game. As far as making money through early game, what you're going to want to do is make trader's leathers. So I have Holtberg working away at this right now. The reason you want to make trader's leathers is because it's pretty easy to get your hands on both the leather and fabric to make it. There's some towns that are going to be easier than other towns. Uh, sh where I am right now in Squin, there's only one merchant that sells leather and I have to run to the way station. There's another merchant there that sells leather and then the next one is an Admag. Aside from that, I would have to run up to Stack to buy leather, which is uh, quite a bit of a run. And that's not... It's not the best, That it's not the most ideal scenario. So, first thing you need to do in order to do this is to buy a house in a building. In order to buy a house in a building, what you need to do is, actually, let me show you on this character, since this is the one I set up specifically for this purpose. So, in a lot of towns like the hub right here, you'll see a lot of these destroyed buildings. And you can actually buy these buildings and refurbish them. So, you can click on this small shack here, and see in the bottom left corner it says for sale. I can click buy and then the building is now purchased. However, it's still a dilapidated piece of shit. So we have to make it into something better. In order to do that, we use the issue command keybind. This is originally bound to right click. However, I rebound it to Q because I find that to be easier. When you hold this over top of one of the destroyed buildings, you'll be able to repair it just like this. Now, once you select this option, you'll need to buy a few, uh, building materials in order to repair it. This one only, uh, it only costs a few building materials, so I'll be able to finish it during the course of this video. And just like this, the building will be repaired. Now it is usable. I can build things inside of here and use it to uh, my heart's content. And this is doable for basically every building in uh, inside of towns that, uh, that are broken, that is. You can't buy any buildings that are currently in use, only buildings that are like, uh, that are run down, and then you can repair them like this. Uh, so this is, this is the building that I have bought in Squin, and as you can see, I've outfitted it with quite a few things. When you first buy a building, the very, very first thing you're gonna need to do is build a research bench in here. You can't do anything without a research bench. You have to build a research bench, and then you have to stock it with books right here. Also, these other two things you see in my research bench, ancient science books and engineering research, these are end game reagents for much uh, higher level technology unlocks. You can get uh, these from a few towns. I actually bought these eight books and two engineering research from Flats Lagoon, which is a town in the uh, southern portion of the map. However, other towns like World's End and uh, maybe Heng uh, will sell these items. Otherwise, where you have to find ancient research books is from uh, exploring. Like one, I'll, I'll point out a few that I know. In vain right here, these ruins have some ancient science books. Uh, Arak, I'm pretty sure, has some ancient science books throughout there. Also, uh, Shun, there's definitely a few ruins here with some ancient science books for you to find. Uh, the crater has a few, th this workshop complex in the grid. And basically the list goes on. These are all uh, locations also in the swamp. These ruins, I'm pretty sure the ruins right here in the bottom right have some ancient science books, though I could be wrong. And eventually later on in the game, you will need to do some exploring and actually find these ancient science books and use them for further technology increases and, uh, and things like that. Sorry, I'm just trying, I'm watching Maui to see what's even happening to him. Let me jump over to him. Aha, Dust Bandits are raiding. And he's honestly fine with that. He can survive. So, once you've unlocked uh, enough, well, 
once you've made a research bench and put some books in there, the things you need to research are, uh, I'm going to read them off my website. If you would like to see an actual list, check out almarsguides.com. It's uh, better than me narrating it to you like this, but small house, tech level two, indoor lighting. We need indoor lighting because of these uh, ceiling fans that produce light. Uh, if you don't have light when you're crafting and uh, when it's night out, you will suffer a skill penalty and you'll perform worse. If you have light, then you will get no skill penalty and you'll be just fine. So light is very important, especially if you want to craft during the night and if you want to make sure you don't ever suffer a skill penalty while crafting. Item storage. This one's an important one because we need some places to store all of our crap. We need the weapon uh, cabinets here so characters can put weapons in them when they're done. And we need these armor cabinets here so characters can put uh, the trader's leathers in them when they're done crafting the trader's leathers. We also need leather storage, like you see here. And ideally, fabric storage would be nice too. Which actually, speaking of which, I uh, intended to make that and totally forgot. So where's fabric? Fabric chest, here we go. So where can I build this? There we go, right there is fine. So it just needs one building material, so I need to buy that when shop's open. Uh, aside from item storage, leather armor crafting, which allows you to make the leather armor crafting bench that you see Holberg working at right now. Basic weapon smithing. Although if all you care about is profiting, I don't recommend you pick up basic weapon smithing yet. The only reason that I honestly recommend people pick up basic weapon smithing now is because it's useful to start raising it now because of how useful it is later in the game. You won't be able to make any profit through weapon smithing until you purchase this right here, advanced weapon smithing, in the uh, smithing research tab. Once you purchase advanced weapon smithing, you'll be able to upgrade your weapon smith to a uh, level 2 bench. At which point you'll be able to start making higher level than refitted blades uh, quality. You can see a refitted blade here. They get 258 uh, cell value and they cost 2 iron plates a piece. Um, that is, usually you pay about 115 cats per iron plate. So you like just barely make like a 10 cats profit uh when you crit you make like a 30 or 40 cats profit i think but crits aren't 100 percent and uh let's see my ruka right now because i'm a skill with a 60 level skill she crits 70 percent of the time which is pretty darn good however if you look at ruka like this weaponsmith you see that she's actually capable of making N mk3 weapons However, I can't make those weapons because I don't have uh, Weaponsmith Bench 2 unlocked and I don't have the prerequisite requirements uh, unlocked in tech level uh, to make them because you need to purchase more basic weapon grades 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, sorry burp. Basically how it works is you need to purchase, uh, where, let me see if I can find it. No, they don't have any in there, sadly. But you can increase the, the weapon grade that you can make through research. And you have to purchase them in order to make better weapons. Armor is different. Armor, it's solely based on your skill. You don't need to purchase, like, specialist rank in order to make specialist armor or masterwork rank to make masterwork armor. All you need is to raise your skill in order to make armor, which is why it's better for this sort of purposes. Just purchasing some reagents on him. And, uh, of course, before you start, uh, or not of course, but once you start making, or start working towards, uh, leveling up your crafting to start selling items that you make, you're probably going to have to get to tech level three as well. In order to get to tech level four, I think, uh, it only requires books. I think tech level five is the first tech level that require, or no, tech level four requires ancient science books. Okay. So that is the one that you'll probably want to stop at for the start of the game. Once you get later in the game, then you'll be able to advance it to, uh, different tech levels, tech level four, five, six. And I think, uh, I think it goes up to eight, but I could be mistaken, but I wouldn't worry about that for now. Once you get to that one. Once you get to uh, tech level three, you're good enough for there. 
to uh, profit because our traders leathers will make a solid profit now let's talk about the profit we get from traders leathers so you'll like I said uh, before I think I said this before if you, once you start making standard quality traders leathers you'll uh, you'll start making a profit so the profit for standard quality is about 245 cats which is very very low however you can start making standard quality traders leathers at about 50 skill which is pretty low once you get to about 65 skill level you'll start making high grade trader leathers which is what you're looking at right now high grade trader leathers give you about 1600 cats profit per uh, specialist traders leathers they give you about uh, 2,300 cats profit per and masterwork I have not done the math but I think everything I think it doubles every single time so masterwork should be like uh, 4,700 cats per of a profit so I'm actually going to sell some of these now Holtberg can probably make enough traders leathers where I will cap out I'll I'll hit my max gold value for most of these vendors uh, during the same during one day this vendor has no not enough money to keep buying my traders leathers And let me show you uh, the weapons, too. There you go. I cleared out two vendors. So that's 50k, and Holtberg's probably been at this for a whole day. These are the other things you can make. And Katu No Ones are the crits. So I get about 314 from a crit, and it costs two iron plates, which is about 115 cats per. So I'm making about 100 cats profit from these. The, so it's it's not worth it basically is what I'm getting at for weaponsmithing until you unlock weaponsmith 2 and you start making higher quality weapons now for anybody who's unfamiliar with Kenshi in order to make the best weapons in the game you actually have to craft them well there's a rank of legendary weapons called me Too weapons and in order to get there's only one of each so if you want to say outfit your entire team in falling suns or foreign sabers you'll need to raise a weaponsmith high enough to craft them and they will be able to craft at most edge type 3 weapons which is the second best uh, quality weapon in the game and that's why raising weapon smithing is so important even if you don't plan on profiting off of it because you need good weapons for your entire team there's no uh, there's no ifs ands or buts about that so as far as daily profit it depends mostly on what you can keep your leather upkeep to be you need uh, a lot more leather than fabric fabric isn't really hard to upkeep it's just really one vendor that stocks it per day and you'll be good as far as uh, best towns for doing this I would honestly recommend doing this in Shobatai up here because Shobatai it's in running distance of Stoat within running distance of Heft and uh, I th if I'm not mistaken and it's also in running distance of Bark if I'm not mistaken, Shobatai has two vendors, both of which, maybe even three, that stock leather. And that is another big factor into why that town is better than this one for this. For right now, where I am at in Squin, I really can't get enough leather a day to keep Holtberg running 24-7. Unless I start... Sorry, hiccups again. Unless I start running to really far away distant towns, I can't maintain constant crafting with Holtberg and that's a problem because it cuts in then I get less money and it's not as worth it obviously but that's really all there is to it uh, hopefully this video answers your questions hopefully it helped you guys out I know it's a little bit podcasty in nature and uh, I don't have like a solid set script but there's not much information out there for Kenshi so you you, uh, you gotta take what you get I guess if uh if I got anything wrong or you have anything additional to add, please let me know in the comment section below. It's always nice to get feedback and it's always nice to be corrected. That way people who are watching will get the correct information. Hopefully they scroll down to the comment section. Aside from that though, I'll catch you guys around in future Kenshi videos. Peace.